Dr. Jordan B. Peterson is one of the most famous psychologists of our generation as he's mostly known for his inputs in the personal development world and he actually, you know, teaches young people on how to be better than they were before as he dedicates his life to educate inspire and help others. Jordan has been uploading some of his lectures on YouTube as well as having published books on how each one of us can become a better but more importantly a more ethical individual. And while doing so, if you were to analyze his efforts either from watching his videos or reading his books, you'll notice a common theme and it's that he is a big proponent of being responsible and its effects it has on accountability in a person's life. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense that Jordan himself, you know, would indulge in living a life this way, having a fixed regimen and a set schedule. So how does it actually look like and what can we learn from it so that we can implement, you know, certain types of behavior and habits in our personal day-to-day -day life so that we can become you know a bit better than we were yesterday what is up guys my name is dragon and in today's video i'll show you a day in the life of jordan peterson just quick before we get started make sure to subscribe and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so that you never miss new videos like this that are coming out every single weekend to start off the day Jordan wakes up between 6 to 8 a.m. depending on his commitments the previous day. So for example, if he's out traveling or speaking at engagements that run late into the night, he'll sleep in more, therefore waking up closer to 8 rather than 6. For breakfast, he shockingly doesn't eat anything uh, because he wants to, you know, remain fasted throughout the day and his first meal is actually later in the evening. So for this reason, Jordan just drinks a glass of water and gets immediately to work. As a clinical psychologist, Jordan works around 14 hours a day, giving him a 100 plus hour work week, which is so fascinating. But what's going to surprise you even more is that he's always put in these kinds of hours, you know, this so much, you know, work dating back since 1985. However, Jordan rates his 8 to 10 a.m. work as his most productive uh, of the day because uh, his mind is the sharpest, you know, the most rested and his uh, activities that he does in that uh, sort of time are the most important of that given day. And after his most productive labor at 10 a.m., he takes a quick break to meet up with his wife Tammy to spend some time with her. In the afternoon, Jordan just works right through it, only taking some breaks every few hours to drink some water and catch up with his wife and kids. When the evening rolls around at around 6 p.m., Jordan quits, you know, working so tremendously hard. He meets up with his wife Tammy to, uh, you know, prepare some dinner which is, you know, going to be his first actual meal of the day. Jordan usually eats some cooked beef with some vegetables, along with an occasional club soda, making it a meal that's high in fat and protein. In the rest of the evening, Jordan spends his time doing some Q&As on YouTube, shooting podcasts, reading, and listening to some of his favorite podcasts. After relaxing for a bit, now it's time to go to bed. And the interesting thing is that Jordan doesn't set an official bedtime because he believes in extending sleep until you feel tired, but he ensures to get up at the exact same time every day. So what surprised you the most about, you know, Jordan's day-to-day -day life? I'm sure that uh, he, the fact that he doesn't eat anything until the evening comes around surprised you the most, but let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, there are plenty of other, you know, day in the life, so be sure to check them out. And also, if you forgot to subscribe, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so that you never miss new videos like this coming out every single weekend. Love y'all and peace.